Hi everyone, welcome back to another great series with me. Today I have the privilege to interview Dylan. Hi Dylan, how are you doing? I'm good man, how are you? I'm doing great, thank you for joining me. So Dylan helps uh, organization to create a culture that keep, them, that, that keep their members engaged and empowered towards successful of the overall vision. So Dylan, can you tell me more about your entrepreneurship experience? I know that you recently told on your LinkedIn profile that you just write your own personal checks. So how this going on and what struggles you had while you reach where you are now? Yeah, absolutely, man. Thank you for allowing me the opportunity to share on your platform. Um, for me, it's been a part-time thing or a side hustle thing, if mm -hmm. you will, just coaching and speaking over the last few years. And um, coming into this year, I knew that it was going to be at a point where I wanted to make the full transition. Um, then came January 13th, and I just heard the voice and felt the thing in my gut that says that this is the time. And so made that transition. It was actually a very smooth, easy transition for me because I think, you know, a lot of entrepreneurs create their businesses or their entrepreneurship out of fear. It is kind of the, you know, I can't stand what corporate is doing or the man is trying to hold me down. So I'm going to go do my own thing. And that's great. Yes. But I know that for me, as I articulate what it is I want in life and I manifest it, that can come from fear or yes. love. All you need is a emotion to mm -hmm. literally juice the desire into material manifestation. And so for me, what I've learned is that when you manifest out of fear, all you do is you get the thing that you want. When you manifest out of love, the thing that you want has nothing to do with it. And really what you learn is you learn to remove resistance and you accept bits and pieces of yourself and you dissolve shadows. So for me, it was removing those bits and pieces of fear. That's why I was able to walk away from $250,000 wow. into the unknown. Mm. And then you saw that one post where I wrote a check. And before I even got any money coming in, I was willing to write a check for $2,000. Why? Simply because I have no resistance, I have no fear, and I mm. absolutely know that my desires and my needs are always going to be supported and always met. So the transition for me was a little bit of a long one because I, I use that time to remove the resistance. Yes. When I made the light switch, it's been very easy. Has there been ups and downs and challenges? Absolutely, but they're nothing because I simply know, as a matter of fact, my business is based on speaking and coaching. Yes. Right now, the environment that we're in is based in complete fear. Yes. I've had three speaking engagements get canceled on me. Am I freaking out? Absolutely not. Because I absolutely know that I'm always taken care of. And the monies that I lost in those, no big deal. You see my whiteboard behind me? I'm pivoting. Yeah. I'm really pivoting and I'm bringing another product to market. Not necessarily the way that I wanted to coach or engage, but based on the environment, based on the economic needs, based on the temperature market, I mm -hmm. can pivot. Yeah. I can pivot because I'm leading out of love, not fear. Yes. And do you think that the love and fear is based on how we are born or raised and the society that you need to have a job, you need to pay the bills, you know, don't follow your dream. Sometimes it will not be successful. Do you think it's, that's the reason how we are raised, the culture, the environment? Absolutely. A little bit of all of the above. So we are born knowing love and knowing love only. We are born into this world of love. We are born of this world of love. When we come into this world, we learn fear. First fear a baby learns is the fear of falling, right? Yes. I'm guilty of it. I think I dropped my kid when I was when he was three months old out of the stroller. I forgot to buckle him, buckle him in, right? So we learn fear, and now we learn conditions. We learn conditional love. Little Bobby, little Sue, they're good kids. They get a toy. They get a treat. They're bad. They go to their room. Now you go to school. You get an A, you're rewarded. You get an F. You sit next to the teacher's desk and so on and so on and so on. So mm -hmm. we're absolutely conditioned. Now you take all that conditioning and that condition is based on our insecurities and our own fears. Yes. For example, what's going on right now, the yes. two biggest psychological fears that we have as human beings is the fear of poverty and the fear of death. Coronavirus, death. So that's number one. Number two, now there are a lot of people that are going to be in a position where they're staying home without an income coming in. Fear of poverty. Scarcity mindset in society is a 1,000% on display right now. Just go try to find some fucking toilet paper, right? Yeah, Scarcity I'm mindset. So, so we are bred 
like we are born into this world and then we are conditioned mm. and now you wonder why we don't love ourselves and others without conditions because yeah. we've learned conditional love we have learned to operate from a state of fear and anxiety and when we when we operate in fear and anxiety we no longer have control and we give our power away yeah i totally agree with you and thank you for sharing your entrepreneurship journey and for the audience watching for the first time my interviews are through uh, five questions i will ask dylan and it will be posted all over the following week so as if you are having journey with us and you can watch the videos that you like but in that sense please like and share the video subscribe to the channel and tune in next time for another question with dylan